Hello friends, my name is Bharat and I am going to talk about command design pattern. Command is a behavioral design pattern to decouple operation from the knower. There could be multiple motivation to implement this pattern. For example, the invoker need not have to know the operation being performed by receiver. In other words, any changes to how an operation is performed will not affect how it was invoked. So, the user will issue the same command, but internal operation can perform differently or independently. It is like going to a bank to open an account, but the process might have changed since you visited last time. The bank changes the internal process independent to customer, but the command is same, that is open account. Now, let's implement a sample code to understand it further. Let's jump right in. Here, I am having a simple I command interface which is going to have a getter property name and the execute method and I am going to implement this I command interface. And obviously I have to implement the execute method right and let's name the command as start and when some some method is going to call this i command interface then it's going to simply console dot right line start with so typically in a real world scenario you will be making a, a, a file open method or a web API, API call or something like that. Let me copy the same uh, class and create a stop command. Okay. And all I have to do is just rename it to stop. So these Commands need an invoker to, to make it simple for the client to simply make an instance of the invoker and then call these commands. So let's go ahead and do it. And obviously it has to have an instance of the command interface so this invoker is going to have a get command method which is uh, which is which will be called by the client Okay, it is going to be a simple switch statement. And let's say the action would be start or stop or name of the command for that matter. And depending on the name of the action, the appropriate command object is going to be written. So in our case, we have the start and stop commands. So if the state if the case is going to be start, we are going to say command is equal to new start command. Okay, pretty simple. And then we are going to break. And if the case is going to be stop. then we are going to invoke the stop command right so I hope everything is fine with this command great so we get rid of all the errors here okay now let's go to the client and then start to 
invoke any of the command to see the command design pattern in action. So I have to make an instance of the invoker and then let's create a start command by calling in the invoker. I'm going to say invoker, please give me a start action. Right, and then I can say st dot c dot execute. So in this case, it is going to say started, right? So that because that is what we have given uh, given in the start command, right? In the execute method. And I can go ahead and then create another command c1. Already stop. Let's run the program. Okay, so we got the message that we desired for. And I hope that this is pretty clean and simple. If you are attending interview or a student, please check out source code from link given in video description below and implement the questionnaire along with test cases. Share your code in the comment section so everyone can benefit from it. I shall also try to answer any of your queries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.